What's up all you tryhards out there? I see the Team Jacob t-shirts. I'm Asia Celestino and today you are in luck because we've got some juicy exclusives for you to sink your fangs into. Yes, it is a sad day for us Twilight lovers because the saga is coming to an end with Breaking Dawn Part 2. Now when Bella, who is more gorgeous than ever with red contacts, gives birth to Renesme, the infamous Cullens must come together not only with werewolves, but with other vampires across the world to protect the half-human, half-vampire child from the evil Volturi. I am so incredibly jealous, but happy to say that our own Sean Edwards sat down with Kristen, Robert, and Taylor to talk about the film. Check it out. No, what's up, Playboy? How's it going, man? Pretty good. How you it's doing? Going well, right? I guess. No, nah, you know it's good. Come on, you know it's, it's, you, come on, you're in the sweet spot. I gotta salute you too, man. You yeah. did it. Five done, last one. Feels yep. good, right? Didn't get fired. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> really? Was that I've ever, still got three weeks to go. <laughs> was that ever? A cons was that ever a concern, man? You brought it with this. On the first one, there really? was definitely, yeah, okay. I almost got so fired. So was it locked set after the first one? No, the first one, I was like halfway through, I definitely almost got fired. No, nah, what'd you do, man? Come on. Because I was, I wanted, I wanted, I was taking it so seriously, and then uh, um, there came to a point where like, Catherine was like, "Look, if you don't smile, <laughs> I'm just gonna kick you off this thing." <laughs> so what got you to loosen up? When did you realize, hey, let me just do this because this is nice. They said they were gonna fire me. They literally called you into the principal's office like Rob. Yeah. No. It's crazy. Wow. Yeah. Okay, good. I'm, I'm, glad, I'm glad you made it through. So yeah. now that it's all done, what's the one experience you're walking away with? What do you remember most? Um, definitely stuff from the first one. Um, and the turning point when it was when we could feel that something was happening and no one really understood what was going on. When we first started promoting it and people were like rioting and stuff, um, it was crazy. I mean, I've never really felt, I've never felt so out of control of my life. It's like you're literally suddenly on like a runaway train. It's crazy. Um, yeah, I'll never forget that. What's the final scene you shot? Or what's the final shot? The final shot was the, like running through, doing the hunt. Bella and Ed were doing the hunt with, with the deer. At the beginning, just running around, getting exhausted. <laughs> Who got the most emotional when it was all done on the set? Um, I guess it was just me and Kristen finishing it. Like everyone else had finished before us, and so it was just kind of weird. I mean, because we were just sort of we'd been we did four days just us two, and it kind of, and then they just end it, and it's like, well, okay, well that's that. And you kind of feel stupid getting emotional about it at that point because there's only two of you there. It's not like the whole cast. You don't say goodbye to anyone. It's like, just done. Yeah. And it Go was just, home. Yeah. Bye. See you. It was, yeah, <laughs> Later. It's, it's crazy. <laughs> I mean, also, because we were, we were doing all this stuff as well, like um, right. three or four months later. So, uh, yeah, definitely hasn't ended yet. I'm really, really curious what it's going to be like the last day of this tour. Last day of promoting it. Yeah, yeah. Now, this franchise has a lot of fans who watch the movies over and over again. What's the one movie you've watched the most in your lifetime? Um, one Flew Over the Cookie's Nest, or uh, maybe The Mask. Those are some serious movies. <laughs> the opposite to watch. end of the spectrum. Yeah, exactly. But those are some serious movies to watch over and over again. How many times have you seen each one? Uh, one Flew Over the Cookie's Nest, probably like a hundred times. And uh, The Mask. I mean, I used to watch it on repeat when I was a kid, so I mean, probably about a thousand times. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man, well, I gotta give you the salute. Job well yeah. done, man. Thanks and a good lot. luck in the future. Keep doing your thing, keep rocking out. <laughs> Thanks a lot. It's all good, man. Shit. Now, there, there might be a lot of people in the African-American community that don't like this character, but they better not act like that person doesn't exist, because like you said, they right there in the house, or they up the block, or they Uncle Boo Boo.